Here we go. You know, in fact, what I'm going to do, we were fashioning him so well. We were trying to find him yeah. because you're on the show yeah. with me. It's not Derek Dees. It's you. Cliff Lee said, you know what? I'll do it right now. Yeah, let's do it. The hell with it. I'm not going to come back <laughs> later on. Joining us right now with Dan Moriarty and John Crispin on Fox Sports Radio is Cliff Lee, starting pitcher, Texas Rangers. Cliff, welcome to Fox Sports Radio. How you doing today, man? Good. Doing all right. How you doing? Doing well, thank you. Talk about, first of all, getting into the new uniform in Texas, kind of being, well, for right now, the hired gun, and how that can just get someone jacked up when you do what you do for a living. Uh, you know, it's exciting to be here in Texas. You know, obviously, coming into spring training with Seattle, we had uh, different plans in mind, but uh, things didn't pan out the way we thought they were going to, and uh you know, I was I was traded, and uh, fortunately it was to a team that's in first place and uh, got an unbelievable offense, great group of guys, and uh, it's been a lot of fun here so far. And uh, You know, the hired gun thing, whatever, I mean, I don't really look at it like that, but I just, you know, I want to go out there and try to give the team a chance to win. They were, they were a great team before I even got here, and, you know, I just kind of want to contribute and do my part and try to help this team get to the playoffs. Well, Cliff, you guys have an eight and a half game lead in the AL West. I mean, something pretty substantial considering all the turmoil with ownership and bankruptcy and everything. Are you excited to see that that this looks like everything's going to go through with the new ownership? And it's almost like the the team, even as well as they're playing now, gets another little spurt, knowing that everything seems to be in order. I mean, you're excited going forward for the Texas Rangers. Yeah, I mean, I I didn't know a whole lot about all the details coming in. I knew that there were some issues going on. I didn't, you know, I didn't know a lot of the history with that. I, you know, for me, I just I just knew the players. I knew the knew it was a great team, and uh, you know, I didn't look too much into that. But you know, obviously, anytime there's there's you know a team that's bankrupt and going through that kind of deal, you you want some stability there, and hopefully the you know the Greenberg and Nolan Ryan group they can. Uh, you know, you know, supply some stability, and and hopefully we want that's not an issue moving forward. And uh, it looks like that's a done deal, and and hopefully it is. And I know, you know, anytime Nolan Ryan's attached to anything, especially in the state of Texas, it's it's a big deal. So, uh, you know, hopefully it's uh, you know they got a, a plan in place to to keep this team together and and uh, have a great team moving forward. Texas Ranger starting pitcher. Cliff Lee joining us here on Fox Sports Radio. You say the name Nolan Ryan. Cliff, as a guy in the middle of your career right now, and you look at the man who came before you, who now is your owner of the team, but also this Hall of Fame pitcher who's, who's, who's on the Mount Rushmore of starting pitchers in Major League Baseball. What's it like being around the persona of that man? I mean, you, you said it. He's one of the best pitchers of all time. I mean, seven no-hitters, you know, the most strikeouts ever. I mean, that's he's, he's one of the most dominant pitchers of all time. And any time... You know, you've, you know, his name's attached to anything baseball-wise. It's it's uh, it's a big deal. So, uh, you know, it's it, you know, it was an honor for me to meet him and get, you know get a chance to talk to him and stuff. And uh, now he's the you know one of the owners of the team. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a great honor to be have anything attached to that guy. So, uh, you know, he's one of my you know baseball heroes, if you want to say you know say that when you know growing up and someone that I always you know, idolized as a kid. So, you know, to have him be be around and be part of the organization I'm I'm with is uh, is a big deal for me. Cliff Lee, Texas Rangers, we'll say I, I like that hired gun. I mean, it's well, just <laughs> kind of a cool name. I, I would take when it you're in Texas, you. it sounds yeah, cool too. It sounds really cool. It rings true. Uh, but Cliff, talk a little bit about the offense. I mean, we we talked earlier this year, earlier in the season, about how athletic this offense is. I mean, really, everyone said, and we talked to Jim Bowden. I've done some shows with Bowden, and he said this is a very athletic offense. Looking at Vlad Guerrero, Michael Young, Josh Hamilton, batting three fifty four. I mean, talk about the offensive and, and the power. I mean, obviously, eight and a half games up. You're scoring some runs. I mean, you as a guy who, who would have to pitch against them, how good does it feel coming, knowing that you have these guys to back you up? Uh, it's it's a great feeling. I mean, it's, uh, you know, there's, you know, Josh Hamilton alone is, is unbelievable. But then when you've got, you know, Michael Young and then Kinsler and then, you know, Vladdy Guerrero and uh, Nelson Cruz, you know I mean, Elvis Andrews, all these guys that, you know, there's there's just there's just not much of a break there. And, uh, you know, coming, coming to Texas, you know, obviously it's a hitter's ballpark too, but coming in there, it's, it's not a whole lot of fun having to face those guys. And I know it from experience, but, 
you know, now I get to reap the benefits of having those guys on, on my side. So it's, uh, it's definitely a good feeling, and, and there's there's power from from top to bottom, and uh, it's, there's there's not a break, and that's uh, – you know, that's that's good to have that on your side versus having to come in to face them. You know, Cliff, when you came to Texas, obviously everyone was saying, well, that's the biggest shot heard around the world of baseball at that time when, when they picked you up from Seattle. But my thing is this, and I want it from a, a, a pitcher's perspective. When Benji Molina came in, the guy who has the experience, uh, when he came in from San Francisco, but he had won the World Series already with the Angels, a guy who has been said to be one of the better catchers when it comes to taking care of a staff, you're being caught by him now. Talk about the importance of Benji Molina, because for me, that was a huge, huge get. Yeah, it's definitely a huge addition for our team. I mean, there's, you know, for the most part, this is a fairly young pitching staff, and to have a guy that like that that's been catching for as many years as he has and been uh, pretty successful, you know, he, he knows how to call a game. He keeps the running game in check. He knows how to read an opposing hitter. Uh, you know, good with going in with a game plan, but but uh, smart enough and savvy enough to to make adjustments throughout the game by by being able to read hitters. I mean, he's he's really good at that. And uh, you know, anytime you got a guy like that that's been doing it for as long as he has, like I said, especially with a with a young pitching staff, that's huge. So uh, I mean, he's he's been a great addition and a r- pretty good hitter too. I mean, he's I think he's been uh, underrated as far as that goes. I mean, he's 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 not a bad hitter. I mean. He hit for the cycle the other day. I don't any. I don't know if anybody expected him to get that triple, but <laughs> he, uh, he's he's a, he's not a bad baseball player at, by, at all. He, he's definitely a great catcher and and knows how to call a game. Well, Cliff, yeah, you're a free agent at the end of the year, and I've got to ask you. I mean, are are you looking to give Texas serious consideration, and and are you considering really making Texas home? Uh, you're a free agent at the end of the year. I mean, you could could lock it down in Texas for a while. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Until I'm approached with something, I mean, I, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of what ifs. But I, you know, I, I just, I'm more concerned about helping this team win and and trying to get to the playoffs and try to win the World Series. I mean, that's the ultimate goal. And uh, you know, I don't want that to become a distraction. I want to, you know, just help the team win. And that, that stuff's going to take care of itself. I'm not too worried about it at all. I just want to. I want to. I want a ring. That's what I want. I, I could care less about that right yeah. now. I'm more focused on trying to help this team win, and uh, if we do that, everything else will take care of itself. Starting pitcher, Texas Rangers, right now eight and a half up in the AL West. He is Cliff Lee. Cliff, thanks for the time, man. Welcome to Texas. We'll talk to you again. All right. Thanks for having me. You got it, man. That is uh, Cliff Lee. And by the way, uh, John. That Nolan Ryan, that guy who he respects so much, yeah, will be signing his paychecks if he stays. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Benji Molina, wow. when he came into third base on that triple, was huffing and puffing. That's one guy who did not think he'd ever get a triple in Major League Baseball. Against your Keep Red it. Sox, Dan. Uh, baby, yeah. Yeah. Leave oh, the Red Sox easy. out of this, okay, Mr. Yankee? Got rings. My Red Sox Look win today, shirt. and tomorrow we're only four back. Leave me alone. Keep it locked right here. We come back and talk about... That interview just there with Cliff yeah. Lee. That was good stuff. That was good. He's a big deal. Way to go, Bob Bakui. Bringing in Cliff Lee, the big hired gun. He'll pitch one, four, and seven if it goes seven in any best of seven. <laughs> Keep it locked here. We roll on on Fox Sports Radio.